To get the short axis view, rotate the probe from the long axis view 90 degrees clockwise so that the probe marker is facing towards the patient's left shoulder. The probe can be fanned up and down in order to take a slice of the heart at different levels. If the transducer is fanned upwards, it will slice the heart at the level of the aortic valve. If kept in a neutral position, it will slice the heart at the level of the mitral valve, and as the probe is fanned downwards, it will slice at the level of the papillary muscles and then the apex. Here we see the short axis view at the level of the mitral valve. The probe can be fanned up to identify the aortic valve, then fanned down to identify papillary muscles and the apex of the heart. In this scan from a normal heart, the left ventricular walls can be seen to come towards the centre of the ventricle, implying good contractility. Pericardial fluid should also be looked for surrounding the heart. Here we see the short axis view at the level of the papillary muscles. Fluid is noted within the pericardial sac. In addition, the left ventricle does not appear to be contracting effectively, resulting in left ventricular systolic dysfunction.